Hi guys, my name is Bettina Campolucci Bordi and this is my macadamia nut cheese filled courgette flowers with lemon mayo. It's one of my favorite dishes and today we're going to be cooking from the... I can't remember what we're cooking from. <laughs> Sorry. It's from my latest book called Celebrate, and this is from the Spring and Easter chapter. Come along and let's make these. Courgette flowers, we're gonna fill these with a chive and garlic macadamia nut cheese, and we're gonna fry them off, and they're gonna be absolutely beautiful. I've got some macadamia nuts here. They've been soaking for a good few hours to make them nice and soft, and this is gonna be the base of our macadamia nut cheese. And I'm going to give them a wash, and then I'll come back and we'll get cracking with the cheese. Right, I'm back. So we're gonna be making the almond cheese. <laughs> almond cheese. Macadamia <laughs> cheese, sorry. Uh. <laughs> and you're following me around because you're like, this is such a great blooper. <laughs> Don't film me, I'm crying. Whiz those up with some water to begin with. It's like a ricotta almost, in terms of the texture. Just a really, really quick sort of kitchen tip. If you've made this, add some water into your blender, whiz it up, and then you've got macadamia nut milk. So, we're gonna add some salt and pepper, in that goes. We are going to grate in some garlic, some chives, perfect ricotta -y texture here. We are going to add it into a piping bag. And if you've got any of this left over, you could literally use this as you would use a cream cheese and just add it on toast. It's absolutely delicious. So fill some pasta shells. And there's lots of different options. Don't let it go to waste, basically. So squeeze in. And you fill them up. Don't go too much and basically you sort of clip the ends together just like that we've got some corn flour rice flour some chickpea flour and some baking powder and bicarb i think <laughs> and some water oh this is fizzy water by the way so that's all done i'm going to make the mayonnaise that is going to go with this and it's basically you can make your own plant-based mayonnaise or you can buy a really good quality mayonnaise there's so many options nowadays that are plant-based and we're going to basically put that into a bowl add some salt we're going to add some lemon whoa and that's going to be our um lemon mayo to dip these beautiful guys in so you've got light crispy batter going through and these are going to be beautiful so let's go and get these cooked we are going to plate these guys up so i'm going to add some of my garlic mayonnaise lovely chives on top absolutely gorgeous one of my favorite dishes in my latest book called celebrate and this is the spring and easter chapter